Welcome, FNews57 here. I'm back on my Xbox One bringing you yet another achievement guide. In today's video, I will be showing you how to get two achievements, Close Call and Ringleader, in the brand new Operation 3 for Gears 5. So I hope your armor is clean and your lancers are locked and loaded. Let's go ahead and get two new achievements. For this, Close call, you need to win a match of Arcade Blitz where the opposing team is within 25 points of winning. And Ringleader, you need to win a match of Arcade Blitz with the most points earned in a ring. Relatively straightforward achievements, but difficult to do. You could get them done through the course of playing the game. However, the easiest possible way to do it is going to either be bring a friend or go ahead and unbox your second controller, because at the moment, not sure if this is intended or not, so it could be changed, but at the moment, you can unlock these achievements in a private game. This is a godsend, because these achievements are normally very annoying, or you would have to put together a boosting team. So what you want to go and do is set up a custom versus match, arcade blitz. You can then, of course, select the options, you can change the game mode, you can change the blitz option. The only thing that you want to do is you want to do fill with bots off, rounds to win, the normal amount, one round. I wouldn't recommend customizing anything else unless you were going to customize the map options, which you could do if you wanted to go ahead and make progress on this particular achievement right here called All of All Fathers, because that's a very annoying achievement unless you do it privately so like i said you can bring a friend or not it's entirely up to you but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have another person on your team uh or you know one that you can invite whether it be you or your second controller you could use a bot if you locked all the slots but one slot on the enemy team you could put a bot on the enemy team but bots don't always do what you want them to do so it's best to do this with another player so you'll notice my screen changed. I went back to the main menu. I signed in my secondary account, my guest account. And now you just want to double check your options, Arcade Blitz, and make sure that you do the whole turn bots, turn fill with bots off. And then you can go ahead and go from there. You can go through match options if you want. You'll see that by uh, just cycling over. You'll see I'm on the blue team. My secondary account is on the red team. It doesn't matter which one you're on. But then you just want to go ahead and start the match and relatively play like normal, so to speak. Until you get your primary account ready to win. Then what you need to do is you need to bring your secondary account or the other person player B and you need to bring that team up to within 25 points of winning like I said it's easier if you do this with another person so you don't have to operate both controllers but you can do it by yourself uh, all you have to do is pick a character doesn't matter really what character that you pick and I'm going to do it so that my secondary account gets to 175 out of the 200 before I capture anything with my primary account. But uh, I will fast forward to save you guys the trouble of waiting for all of those rings to be captured. Okay, so now's the tricky part. What you need to do is you need to back out of this ring once you are at a score of 175 or higher because you have to be within 25 points of winning. So the team that's going to lose gets to the 175 or higher first, or in this case, it's my alternate character. Go ahead and move that character out, and then your main character is going to come in 
and he's going to finish out the game. It's also important that you do kill the other person or your secondary account a couple of times just to get points while standing in the ring. It's extremely important that you do that so that you can get both achievements at the same time and you don't have to play multiple games. So you can kind of just walk both characters uh, if you're skilled enough to play with like one hand per controller, you can do that at the same time. I am uh, not skilled enough to do that though. But uh, just go ahead and make sure you bring your second account in. You can uh, take them inside the circle if you want. It's up to you. Uh, so like you know, if you want to get a a chainsaw kill on them, that counts as getting points with inside the ring. Basically, you just need to build points, time spent, kills, that type of thing. One or two should be more than enough to do it, because since you will be winning, uh, just make sure that the bots don't come and take kills from you if you are playing with bots. And if you're playing with other people, just make sure that the other people don't come and take those kills. Now, it's important to mention if you are playing with multiple controllers, just periodically move the controller that is not your main character just to make sure that they don't get disconnected from the game. I'm not sure if the achievement will unlock if they do get disconnected from the game. Then go ahead and play the match out normally until the character or player that you want to actually win the match wins. I'll show you the end screen in just a second. All right, here we are within a few points of winning the match on my main character, which is the one I want to go ahead and get the two achievements on. Your achievement should unlock either as soon as the match ends or after it's loaded back into the main menu. Uh, it just depends on if you have any lag. So as you can see, there's one achievement for winning the arcade blitz within 25 points of the enemy team winning and the second rare achievement ringleader for won the match of arcade blitz with the most points earned in the ring super easy to do i also popped a game pass weekly quest but that's a side note side bonus so there you go 20 gamer score two rare achievements they normally would be very situational and probably take you a little while to unlock unless you played the hell out of the multiplayer but that is the easiest way to get them all you need is either to play against a bot, play with a friend or random person online that's willing to boost the achievements, or have a secondary controller. You could use two different Xboxes if you wanted to, but that's more time and energy than needed. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. I will do my best to help answer them for you. If you need assistance in game, let me know. You're welcome to join my Discord channel. If the video helped, make sure you slap that like button and of course subscribe for more content. Until next time, make sure your lancers are clean, your powder's dry, and stay frosty.